The first one is recommended videos. I found these really nice. The first one is a Facebook link by BBC3 on Facebook, where this was a stand-up comedy uh, titled, Shh, I am Muslim. I found it really funny. I think you should really watch it. The other one is, um, this one uh, was more entertainment based. I found uh, Monster Energy had sponsored a uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, rough road kind of driving session by this four wheeler in uh, Mexico. I think you should really watch it. I It's seriously incredible as to how realistic, uh, it, it is real, uh, how, how difficult, you know, it, one wrong move you can not only kill yourself uh, you can harm a lot of people so i recommend you watch this monster energy sponsored um kind of you know rough road race whatever okay the next one is um this one is thought provoking pretty shocking it really i don't know it just left me completely tongue-tied i i really didn't know what to say the title is Gender, gender neutral families um, being raised by this, I don't know, is this a female who became a male or male who became, I think it's a female who now considers herself a male. She's bringing up, raising her children uh, gender neutral. Like she is not telling her children that they are boy or girl. And she's not allowing anyone to call them a he or she. Uh, the title that you refer to her children is not he, not she. You have to call them they, they by or they. I, you know, it, it just, <laughs> it's like um, you have these new age thinkers, you have these people with personality disorders, you have these people with emotional uh, disorders, you know, they ha they ha they're mentally sick. And some of them want to look or want to sound or want to feel that they are new age, that they are spiritually high, that they are very mature in society. So this lady is raising her children, not as a boy, not as a girl, but allowing her children to decide, you want to be a boy or girl, you decide. Even if you're born with a boy's anatomy or a girl's anatomy, you can change it by just thinking about it so you can behave the way you like and uh, yes um, family members have to call the children they so i want you to watch the video uh, the link will be put down below the title is gender neutral family uh, are raising their children as they buy like they don't call he or she and also there is a facebook group a uh, fan page or something like that where they keep sharing this information and you should read some of the comments where the people are like oh this is so touching this is so amazing you're so enlightened or some shit like that so i'm not asking you to hate on them i'm just making you aware that they this is this is where you know the generation is headed so anyway have a look at it you decide for yourself the next one is uh, from Facebook, Let's Pop Talk. Uh, things that female celebrities get away, which male celebrities cannot, or things that females can get away, but males cannot. For example, uh, when you know a female can just grab a guy and kiss him on the cheek or pinch their bottom or crack sexist jokes. A male, if you do that to a female, like, uh, have sexual in uh, you know se sexual jokes or se sexual innuendos or you know act sexy with a female um the internet gets outraged people are like oh how could you do that this is sexist and well, they can end up getting sued but when a girl does it to a guy that's okay it's cute like example you see grown ass women when they have small when they have a small boy a woman can smooch a small baby, okay? Baby boy. A woman can smooch a small baby boy. But if you were to reverse the roles and have a grown man kiss lip to lip a small baby girl, that person is branded as a pedophile. So have a look at it. Um, 
give me your views. Let me know what do you think. Do you think there are double standards? Is it okay? Like I remember one of these videos that came out, social experiment where the female was hitting a male. Uh, and in some cases they had, um, these are actors and actresses. So they had a female in an abaya hitting a male Muslim man. Okay, maybe he was acting as a male Muslim man or looking like one. So people are looking and laughing. But when you reverse the roles of a male hitting a female, uh, people, bystanders, they would just pounce on this guy and beat him. But when they had a female doing that to a male, uh, people were sitting there and laughing. So uh, let me know what you think. Have a look at this video. Another one is, um, this one was really amazing. It's from Facebook. Unilad, uh, it's Unilad Sound. It's a 12 year old girl does a freestyle. I found that really amazing, seriously amazing. What talent, what skill. I'm sure she must have practiced for hours and hours. Really, really, um, I mean, nothing but respect. And if she continues in this way, I think she is, uh, definitely going to be, you know, a celebrity of sorts. Uh, we also have, uh, liberal privilege USA. Um, it's a Facebook group where you have Trump's most savage moments. I, I, you know, whether you hate the guy, whether you love the guy, he really stands out from the rest. And personally, for me, I admire the guy. I think he's very intelligent. He's very smart. He's very aggressive. He knows what he, exactly he's doing. No matter what people may say, he knows what he's doing. So this video is Trump's most savage moments where he really, really puts people in their place and gives them a response that they get either tongue tied, shocked, or, you know, it just boils up blood. So watch it really good. It shows presence of mind and it shows how sharp he is. The next one is, uh, this is a video by Edward Snowden. Uh, if you, I'm pretty sure that you know, Edward Snowden was the whistleblower who exposed the United States of spying on its citizens. Uh, his full interview with France 24, really thought provoking, makes you really think, you know, people, they generally think that, okay, if I remove the privacy buttons or options, or I change the settings, uh, Google, Facebook, Apple, iPhone, or the smartphone devices cannot spy on me. It's only the government that's spying on me, nobody else. Or if I use a VPN, Nobody can track my, uh, you know, my behavior or uh, what I do online or my digital footprint. Edward Snowden, in this interview, debunks all these uh, theories that you cannot be followed by the government or by Facebook or by Apple just because they say, no, we are not going to follow you. Everyone follows everyone and everyone spies. Today, there is, it's impossible to remain invisible unless, of course, you don't stay online. If you don't have a smartphone, you have a normal, ordinary phone. You don't have Facebook, don't have Google, Gmail, nothing. Fine. Nobody can track you. But if you have any of these, whether it's Facebook, Gmail, uh, emails, anything, anything that is for free online, you will be tracked. So Edwin Snowden's interview, must watch. I highly recommend. This one was shared on news. It's uh, this gentleman, Steve. Sean Stephenson. Okay, Sean Stephenson, he had this deliberating uh, disease, uh, which is called, uh, he was born with osteogenesis imperfecta. Um, it's a disease whereby your bones are so brittle, you can pick up something heavy or you can just you know, hold something tight and your bones will break. So um, he was born with extremely fragile bones where even a hug, a tight hug could break his bones. So he stood at three feet tall. Um, he used a wheelchair, but really an inspirational guy. He just died on August 28th, 2019. I put it on uh, my Instagram and Facebook handles. Uh, he was born in 1979, you know, nearly as old as me. Uh, so he died and um, I, I just put up his post. Do watch his videos if anytime you're feeling depressed or you are seeking inspiration. He's a guy who lived a life of inspiration. He's a guy who lived uh, tremendous odds. I'm pretty sure many of us, many of us, maybe 90% of the population wouldn't be able to go through what he went through. 
So an amazing guy, amazing human being. I watch some of his videos and do Google search. I mean, he's a person who I'd listen to uh, simply because he had credibility. He lived that life and he was not just preaching theory. So Sean Stevenson. Uh, the next one is, uh, this one is a chart that predicts recession. Have a look at it. It gives you the different cycles of recession, where the boom period is there, where the bust period is there, where people make money and lose money. So this is a thought-provoking video. And last, if not the least, um, you know, I'm not a very big fan of conspiracy theories. And um, I, I don't get impressed by videos unless, of course, it's a person who is very articulate, very intelligent, uh, and really drives home a point. And that's why I listen to Shashi Tharoor. That's why I listen to, uh, what do you say, Sadhguru. Even though I may not agree with all their views, and many a times I know uh, they interject bullshit. You know, like, for example, Shashi Tharoor, for him, India is his country. He'd never expose the f faults of India publicly, obviously, because he's a smart politician. Sadhguru would always give you the mystic magic bullshit of uh, spirituality, God, you know, the Hindu gods being real and reincarnation, all that fucking bullshit. However, they do have bits and pieces which really stand out as common sense. So in this one, this gentleman, Hussein Haqqani, okay, um, he, is, he, he was a government official. He came out with a book I can't remember right now. But brilliant video brilliant video on pakistan which i really think you should listen to you may or may not agree with his views but very articulate and speaks a lot of common sense was shared to me by my friend uh whose name i'll just give you as Vaseem. okay first name so he gives me a couple of really thought-provoking videos at times and links this is one of them which i really suggest you to have a look so this was the recommended videos list um, for this episode. So have a look at them. Let me know your thoughts. Which video did you see? What did you think of them? Which one do you agree, not agree? And if you have any worthwhile videos for me to share, watch, or mention um, to my viewers, let me know. I'm always open-minded towards them. Okay. However, please, no conversions, no this is God, you know, my God is real, my religion. Apart from that, anything logical, smart, intelligent, worthwhile, educational, even controversial, I welcome.